Every life in Daisy begins and ends the same way. The world is over, but there are still wonders to be seen. This is our survivor, Daisy. She travels the road alone. Her goal is to see the seven Daisy wonders of the world. Can she survive and travel to all seven? Thank you for joining me on this Daisy journey. Enjoy the episode. This is Daisy. You know, like the flower. This is her third season on the channel. I like to start as a fresh spawn. Last season, her life's goal was to move north and build Daisy's Steakhouse restaurant. And most lives in Daisy begin and end the same way. Three words on a red screen. You are dead. Fortunately, Daisy's first two seasons ended with success. On my channel, we always like to name the survivors, give them a little bit of a backstory, give them a goal, that if they can accomplish that goal, ooh, then they survive another season. And by the time they die, we miss them, and it's hard to watch. But uh, this is Daisy, probably her and Lucky are my most popular uh, survivors. Lucky is on Sunday, about a 90 minute episode every Sunday, and he's trying to survive the whole year. Daisy actually built the steakhouse and it got raided, but before it got raided, had a good visitor. Lucky and his crew actually visited the steakhouse. I'll show you footage of that right now. But our guy, Lucky, he's trying to survive a full year on this server and Daisy greets him with a punch. All right, let's cheers. To making it halfway. We are halfway through the year, everybody. Oops. <laughs> but here's how it looks today. It stood for about a month before it got raided, which exceeded my expectation. And that's not why I'm not there now. I just love a fresh spawn. I think for me, the most exciting part of a Daisy life is getting established. Where did you spawn? What did you find? What weapons? What guns? What food? What hunt? Like I hear a chicken. I'm thinking, do I go chicken? Do I? There's usually a lot of zombies around here. Not a great spawn point. So for this survivor, this season, Daisy's goal, I think, is going to be to visit the seven wonders of the Daisy world. So, what are they? I need you to weigh in in the comments. I think the crash site at Cherno, that's got to be one. I think, so she's got to visit there. So, she's got to survive enough uh, to travel and see all these spots. I think the second place that came to my mind was Riffy, no surprise. And even though this is solo, she's going to go alone. I think for Riffy, um, I would allow help getting all the, all the gear. I'll find some, but I'll supplement some if a friend wants to join and go in with me. Because I don't know that much about going into those gas zones. That'll be, I've done it once, but it'll be somewhat of a learning experience for me. So that one, uh, I would take a friend. But most of these are going to be Daisy Solo. I think I'm gonna make hand wrapping straight away. I'm gonna cut that up there too. So yeah, she built a steakhouse. She journeyed, traveled, found all the materials and built a steakhouse and helped survivors survive by feeding them amazing steak, including Lucky. And that was really, really cool. Uh, and I think in this series, I mean, I want Daisy to live, but if I see people on the coast, I'm gonna go with my gut. If they seem like they're on the up and up, you can sort of tell by looking at them. I'll try to talk to them. Hand wrappings. Okay, let's do that right away. We got to get some food. I got to get that chicken. So the seven wonders of the world, what are they? One, the crash site in Cherno. We don't have to see them in order. We can go in any order we want. Two, Riffy. Probably the last one we go to. I would say the platforms at Tizzy, right? The military zone there. And there's a backpack over there. Backpack's got my name on it. Ooh, she was imp impervious. Is that a word? 
to that punch. Okay. Backpack's coming to me. Let's go. So we got three. I might say the sniper's nest at Novo. I think it's the tallest building in the game. What do you guys think? You know, where that Novo, that big building. I don't know if it's like a city hall. It's got a big point on top of it. Yes, backpack early. Early backpack. Let me listen for that chicken again. So we got a blade. I thought I heard a chicken. So yeah, these first episodes will be kind of looting and gathering. We can move towards the seven wonders of the world while we're looting. But I need you guys in the comments to let me know... There it was. What the seven wonders are. We, it's going to be a little bit of a debate. It's not a clean cut seven wonders of the world. So... Crash site. Okay, jumped on. I guess that didn't count. It's getting funny. Okay, chicken. Okay, right, one hit. Ah, you gotta love Daisy. Two hits. Okay. Um, yeah. So I've been thinking about it. I don't. I don't know. Seven. I need your help on that. So in the comments, list your seven. Uh, or however many, you don't have to get all seven. Which ones do you think? What are the seven wonders of the world? You know, you have the seven wonders of the real world. What are the seven wonders of the daisy world? Crash site. The platforms at Tizzy. You know I'm talking about? Those weird buildings in Tizzy. In the northeast. Yeah, northwest. I would say Sniper's Nest at Novo. Go way up to the highest peak. I think it's the highest building in the game. Someone check for that. Check me on that. Hmm. Did I check both of those houses? I don't think I did. Did I check either of them? I did go in the big one. I don't know if I went on the one on the left. I think I got distracted with the zombie. I think I'm going to cook straight away. Get some food going. What else is there? So I've named four. I mean, is Northwest Airfield the... Uh, Command center building, is that one? Uh, what about Radio Zenet? Is that one? Radio in the middle of the map. Uh, radio outpost there. Is that five? Is that six? So these first few episodes, we're going to iron it out. I think non-negotiable. You also have that old abandoned fairgrounds on the northern rim. I forget what city it's in, but that, oh yes. That place is pretty cool. Let me look at the map while I'm eating this. Um... Where is that place? It's in like, okay, Sfregino. I love Sfregino. It has the rides, the old carnival rides. Is that one of the seven wonders of the world? These last few are going to be tough to decide. But Daisy's going to take a world tour and try to see the seven wonders of the world. So let your comments fly. Dude, I hit that full mark. That is nice. Do I want to go inland or upland? I think we cook. I'm tempted to go upland already. I mean, that doesn't look far. Let's go see what that's about. Make sure I got my bearing. I'm As I ran towards Solnichi, I think it's Solnichi, I thought of the seven daisy wonders of the world. Tell me what you think and what I should change. One, the crash site in Cherno, of course. Two, gas zone at Riffy. That ship is pretty amazing. Three, the sniper's nest at Novo. I think it's the tallest building in the game. Four, the abandoned carnival at Sfregino. I like that place. Five, the platforms at Tizzy. That's a weird spot. Six, Radio Zenet. What do you think? Seven, Northwest Airfield Control Tower. I don't know. There's probably a lot of room for change. Let me know what you think in the comments. Getting thirsty. Box nails, man. A lot of you guys would kill for that, but we are sojourning. We are nomadic. We have no need of that. When you desperately need nails, they're nowhere to be found. Ooh, nothing like some fresh pajka in the apocalypse. I knocked out some more zombies. This one gave me a rope. Found this bison, loaded it like a boss. Found this gas mask, wore it like a boss. Then I decided to take it off. Save it for later. Found this nasty radar cap, but it'll keep my melon warm. So we'll wear it. 
Found this pristine hatchet. Nice. Found some rice. Ate it straight away. Didn't even boil it. More chips. Sneakers, they look like they're in good shape. My shoes are pristine. I hear another chicken. These are pristine. Let's take them. They're fun. We'll eat those chips. We'll take the IJ. We're going to kill another chicken. Zombies. Ah! That guy doesn't have anything for me. Let's get this guy, though. Got a medical center there at that medical clinic. Let's go. Maybe this guy's got some Kashka. A not a cola would be ridiculous. Actually, anything to drink would be great. Okay. Nothing. Last time I punched it to save the blade. But we're not going to keep this. What? Usually a blade kills it in one shot. I'm the worst. Okay. Alright. Skin and quarter this bad boy. I think this one's going to give me two to three pieces of meat. Three. Alright. We'll take the bones. Not going to use the feathers. If I regret that later, I'll regret it later. But that's okay. Yeah, I'm going to drop that saw soon, but we'll use it till it breaks, I think. There's the well. Nice. So I knocked out this zombie. You'll never guess what he had. Bottle of water right next to the fountain and a tomato. I drank my fill. It was amazing. Then I ate the aforementioned tomato. It also was amazing. Then I used the strength from the tomato to jump this fence and run into the medical clinic. Okay. Tet, that's worth getting right there. Let's see what we have through door number one. Alright, we should have a clean loot here. More Tet, nice. Yeah, that's big time in case you get an infection or something. That'll save your life. Pants, jacket, charcoal, I don't... So with a pocket full of tet and charcoal pills, diarrhea in the apocalypse should not be a problem for Daisy. She knocked out a couple more of these zombies, grabbed an old nasty funky zucchini and a dirty franta. But that will fuel her trip towards the seven wonders of the DayZ world. Thank you for watching this episode one. Episode two will be out in a couple of days. In the meantime, let me know what you think in the comments. What are the seven DayZ wonders of the game? And we're gonna keep gaming straight through the apocalypse. If you are like me, then DayZ is your therapy. There's only one thing more fun than watching or playing DayZ, and that's watching or playing it while wearing the t-shirt. Click the link to the merch store below. Every penny goes towards my kids' education. Thanks for watching. God bless. We're going to keep gaming straight through the apocalypse.